Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about how to evaluate whether or not a steamer is going to be good to kill bed bugs and their eggs on contact. You know, we've talked about steamers and the use of a steamer against bed bugs on this show before. And we of course said that steamers can be a very good option to address bed bugs and their eggs. A lot of steamers can achieve hot enough temperatures to kill both bugs and eggs on contact. And we've talked about resistance concerns and tolerance concerns and about how you should see bed bug control programs utilizing a multidisciplinary approach. Meaning that pest control companies should not be just relying on pesticides. They should be using items such as this steamer we have here, or cryonite, or vacuums, or bed encasements, whatever the case may be. So what we're going to talk about today is this steamer right here. And so say you're a homeowner, and you heard me talk about steamers and how they're a good thing, and you say, okay, well I have a steamer at home. How do I know if that's good at killing bed bugs and their eggs on contact? It's actually very simple. It's just a suggestion I have for you guys, but I think it'll work out. So here you go. This is how I think you do it. Go to the grocery store, or maybe you have one at home, and what we have here is a more advanced version of it. This is an instrument that we use to evaluate temperatures in the heat treatments that we perform. If you're curious about heat treatments, there are episodes right here on Bedbug TV that talks about heat treatments. And what we do is we turn it on and we take this probe and we test the temperature, say, inside a wall, inside a piece of furniture, and it gives us an instant readback on what the temperature is. The thermometers that you might buy, say, for Thanksgiving and the turkey that you're going to cook, or for that matter, any you know piece of food that you're going to cook on a grill or in an oven, a lot of those are instant read thermometers. So you can take the probe that comes with that cooking instrument, stick it into, say, the, you know, the turkey you're cooking, and it'll give you an instant temperature in regards to what the inside of that turkey is. Well, you could very easily use one of those to check the temperature of a steamer. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take your steamer and you're going to turn it on. And I'm going to do that over here because I did it a few minutes ago and had to reshoot this episode because I shot hot water all over my desk. So we're going to do this over here this time. And you see now the steamer is putting out steam. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that probe and you're going to put it, say, under um, a fold in your couch. And you're going to take your steamer and you're going to turn it on and you're going to slowly work across that surface at the speed that you think you would work if you were trying to steam some bugs and their eggs. So we typically recommend about an inch per second, but it's going to differ depending on the fabric, depending on the bugs, but you could start, say, with an inch per second. So we're moving at an inch per second, and you're going to have that temperature probe on underneath this fold in the furniture, and then as you go over it, you're going to keep going, and you're going to watch that temperature. And if that temperature achieves 180 degrees or better, then that steamer that you have may be very effective at killing bed bugs and their eggs. Once you get up to 180 degrees or more, it is just about an instantaneous kill for bugs and their eggs. So that's actually a very simple way to check to see if the steamer that you own is good for bed bug and bed bug control. Just take that probe, put it in a little pleat in the furniture or underneath some sort of fabric, you take that steamer, you come across it, and you see what temperature you achieve. Just remember that you want to be moving at whatever speed you think you're going to be moving when you steam whatever piece of furniture you're going to steam. You don't want to take the steamer and just put it over top of that probe and see what happens, because there's a good chance you're going to achieve the right temperature, but there's also a chance you're going to damage the surface that you're putting that steamer on. Remember that when you're using a steamer, if you hold it to a surface for too long, you actually can damage the surface, whether it be a painted uh, wall or a piece of furniture. So you want to be moving at around one inch per second, but again, that is, you know, just an average. You want to check the piece of furniture you're steaming or the wall you're steaming and how quick you need to move. You want to watch for damage because damage can happen. So you want to do it in an inconspicuous area first, and then you want to keep it moving at whatever rate you think is good, and then check that probe as you go over top of it at whatever speed you're moving and see what temperature you're achieving. The magic number we recommend is around 180 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're getting to that or higher, you're getting an almost instantaneous kill. And the steamer that I showed you a second ago actually achieves temperatures upwards of 210 degrees. 
So that is a very good steamer for bed bug control. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is just an easy way to possibly evaluate the steamer that you have at home and whether it's good for bed bug control. You know, take a household thermometer and see what you can do with that. A, a, a turkey thermometer or a meat thermometer, whatever the case may be. You just want to make sure it gives you an instant read back to temperature. So, again, now that's just my recommendation. Two things you want to keep in mind. You could damage the surface if you're steaming incorrectly. You want to make sure you're moving at the right pace and that, you know, you do it in an inconspicuous area first. I don't want to see anybody go to do this and they damage something and they say, oh, Jeff told me to do this, this, and this. Remember, you can damage a surface. And of course, you also want to take that probe, and this is the other thing, and you want to put it under a piece of fabric. You just want to make sure that piece of fabric is light. Because we view steamers as a contact kit. We don't necessarily view a steamer as a good option for a crack or crevice. Yes, you can get some penetration with a steamer, but we really view them as something you use to kill bugs and eggs when they're on the surface of something. So you want to take that probe and put it under, you know, a light piece of fabric, or maybe you just rest it right on the surface, just like that, and you come across it just like that. Whatever the case may be. So, again, easy way to determine if the steamer you have is going to be effective at killing bugs and eggs on contact. So if you have any questions about this topic or any other topic, please email me at jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have about anything in regards to bedbugs. All right, everybody, I hope to see everybody soon enough.